want to come forward at this time? Is there anyone online that have any public comment? Hearing say no, we'll go on to item number three for the minutes. We had we had a motion by any discussion of approval minutes. Hearing say no, we'll go vote. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Any abstentions? All right. The motion is uh, we'll now move on to item four. We'll have the agenda with the conclusion that any of our desired to be active. Motion to approve. All right, we have a motion for approval of the agenda. We have a second by Commissioner Islam. Is there any discussion on the approval of the agenda? If you say no, we'll move to a vote. All in favor? Any abstentions? Anyone opposed? Uh, we're going to just ask that I think we're having some difficulty with the uh, mic on your end. Brown and Frank, can you just raise your hand? These supplemental funds are to cover tenants who do not meet all the landlord's requirements. This supplemental deposit will have to be to return to SNARA once the family moves out. Landlords may deduct damages beyond normal wear and tear that are not covered by the family's security deposit. The landlord and the tenant will have to apply for a supplemental deposit. All deposits, family security deposit plus supplemental deposit paid to the landlord cannot exceed double the monthly rent. Families must have at least a security deposit to qualify for SNAR and supplemental deposit. Vacancy laws. For vacancy laws, we provide up to one month of rent to a landlord or property owner. While, preparing, while repairing excessive damage to the unit. Must commit to rent to another rental assistant participant and the maximum per unit is $1,500. We have disbursed $1,718 as of November 30th, 2023. New unit signing bonus. SNARA offers a financial reward to new and existing landlords for joining the program in category units. SARA will pay $500 to landlords who rent a new unit for the first time, landlords who have never participated in the program, landlords who may have participated before but have not participated in the last three years of the work. We have awarded $3,000 as of November 30th, 2023. Landlord outreach. As of today, we have 35 new units that have been added to our landlord list since September 20th. Mostly one to three bedrooms. We have 13 new landlords. A couple are investors without any interest in the $500 incentive. They are investors who want to help provide affordable housing to the community. SNARA has a dedicated landlord liaison to assist landlords in processing these incentives and help new landlords navigate the housing authority process. Contact Latoya Lewis, that's me. The landlord liaison at snbrha.org and my phone number is on here as well. Any questions? Thank you for your approval. So I asked for that. So the uh, $8,075 has been dispersed. 13 landlords have applied. So, so the eight thousand mitigation they that's what we have on the 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 so the three thousand dollars now that went toward they just make a program to buy five thousand. So service like So the total number of 
had an opportunity to uh, to celebrate the uh, mural unveiling at AD Guy Center. Just put your attention to the the, um, the slide. Uh, we all know where the guy is. Uh, okay. Very good. I just yeah. So had an opportunity to celebrate the uh, the mural at AD Guy right next to the uh, Boys and Girls Club across the street from uh, Marble Manor. Another thing I wanted. There we go. All right. And that's AD Guy, uh, uh, historic figure in our community, and uh, just very well revered. And so some local artists. Um, led by the efforts of uh, Chase McCurdy, brought some uh, local young artists together to uh, put a beautiful mural around the uh, Lady Guy Center. Next slide, please. Now unmute yourself by pressing star six. Had an opportunity to uh, attend the, the Super Bowl uh, host committee celebration a few a couple weeks ago. Um, through relationships we've built with. Um, Yeah, through some just local relationships we built with uh, the, the Bank of Nevada uh, Super Bowl Host Committee, we were able to, um, we were one of 29 nonprofits that um, was asked to come. And in coming there, um, the Legacy Foundation gave a grant of $1.3 million. And if you do the math, that comes out about $41,000, $42,000 per organization. And the Housing Authority was pleased to receive those funds. Uh, uh, Jerry Merritt, who works at the Bank of Nevada, has been a super partner to us all. And uh, she was greatly responsible for having the Housing Authority included in those numbers. Uh, this next piece speaks to, uh, we had a visit from the CEO, CFO actually, let's just say, uh, uh, Vinye Singh, C CFO of HUD. Um, um, we were over at Wardell, one of our newer properties. Wanted to thank uh, the chair, vice chair, Commissioner Bruni, and, and staff for coming over. Um, we had a really good afternoon of sharing information, and yes, we did. We asked uh, for more vouchers, more money, more opportunities to expand our affordable housing portfolio. And uh, we really felt that we put on a, um, a good presentation and not only showing that we need more, but actually also showing that we are capable of doing well with what we get. And then finally, I wanted to acknowledge a couple retirees, uh, Sharon Payne. And I'd like for uh, Sharon and Rosa to come up to the podium. Uh, Lori, Rosa. Yes, no, no, I, I wanted, one at a time. Yeah, I wanted Sharon right now. Rosa. Yeah, Sharon. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Sharon and Rose. There you go. Sharon is not here yet. Sharon's not here to get her flowers? She just She's going to make a dramatic entrance. All right, Sharon. There you go. Look at even though we have only, I have only met Sharon for less than five months, but I would like to say a few words. Um, Mrs., uh, Mrs. Sharon Payne has been with Sonera for almost 25 years. <laughs> Ms. Payne joined Clark County Housing Authority in 1999, and thanks to that merge, we have been with Ms. Uh, uh, Payne as an occupational specialist, and the majority of the time was an, uh, uh, with, that, with HCV, with a housing choice voucher. Um, Ms. Payne has been a tremendous asset to the agency. Her attention to detail and commitment to excellence are reflected in her daily work with clients and coworkers. She's appreciated and admired by her colleagues, 
for her knowledge, collaboration, and teamwork. Sharon's inviting and friendly personality will be greatly missed by her coworkers and her clients. And it has been an honor to work with Sharon, and we will we wish her the best. Happy retirement. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, we have a little something for you here. And this is from all of us. stages and we're privileged to have someone who has touched every single department. So within that time, Rosa, I'm sorry, Laura, Lori has worked in the executive office as the executive director secretary, property manager, eligibility, annual plan and five-year plan coordinator, 504 ADA coordinator and hearing officer. Lori is jokingly named nicknamed the Walking Sonara Administration <laughs> in the Executive Office. We will miss Lori's expertise and we will wish and we wish her well in her future endeavors, especially spending more time with her family. Lori, why don't you come on up?
Um, keeping with the theme of pictures, I just wanted to acknowledge our, our monthly um, newsletter. And uh, commissioners, you all got a special gift in front of you today. It's the uh, 2024 Sonar calendar. And the calendar um, represents activities throughout the course of the year that uh, we memorialize. And with that being said, in the very last piece of my report, I wanted to officially welcome Kathy Thomas. We talked about Kathy last month, and lo and behold, she's here seven, eight days into the work, and so Kathy, welcome. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Chair, that concludes my report. Thank you so much. I definitely want to make sure, uh, you know, we let Kathy know we're very happy to have her here uh, and have report your leadership uh, in your new role. I um, want to also make sure that we mark uh, Commissioner Brady present. And uh, we'll now move on to item number, uh, section number four. Uh, I can see, but I can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Acknowledgement of our department. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, since uh, our yeah, last. Three mics, I can't see, I can't hear, I can't hear. Okay, can we, well, we can hear her. Can we do. <laughs> Let her know, Joe. Okay. Um, Co can somebody... Commissioner, we can hear you. Okay. Very good. Can you hear me now? Well, since us, um, yes. thank you. Yes. Thank you. I wanted to acknowledge the uh, individuals that have passed on since we last came together. Uh, Latanya Dorsa. The volume is low, though. Can, can you turn it up a little bit? Yes, ma'am. Is that better? Turn it up a whole bit. Okay. Mute the mics. Oh, okay. So we do the part. Yeah, mute their mics, Joe. Um, Latanya Dorsen. Teresa Alhambra, Derek Rani, Pearlie Jackson, 
Jasmine Jabara, uh, Maria Matthew, and Oscar Duran. And we also want to just keep in our prayers uh, our uh, Tommy, who normally does audio visual, Tommy Albert, just keep him and his family in, in our prayers. Just a moment of silence. Thank you. All right, thank you. We will now move on to item number seven, um, to the approval of the 2024 Housing Choice Voucher ACB Administrative Plan. Welcome. Rose is going to present that item for us. <coughs> Um, good afternoon, Commissioners. I was wondering if it's morning or afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, yes, today I want to change, uh, I want to present the additions and changes that we are making to the admin plan. We are adding Chapter 17, which describes which describes the um, regulations and policies that has has for project-based voucher programs. And um, should I go item by item? No, this is high, this is high level. Okay. Um, these are changes and we're adding this chapter so our admin plan is in compliance with all the regulations that we need to follow with PV. Chapter 18 is also for regulations and policies for, uh, that we have from HUD for project-based vouchers. Um, that are also covered under RAD, the rental assistance um, demonstration. So um, those are the only two changes, the two chapters that we're adding for uh, our admin plan. So we're asking on behalf of the executive director to approve these additions and changes to our admin plan. And uh, I believe we have a summary in front of you. And also we have each chapter and the changes that we have made. Thank you. And does that conclude your presentation? Yes. All right. Uh, are there any questions from the board at this time? There are none. I'll make a motion. I will make a motion to approve the FY 2024 Housing Choice Voucher Administrative Plan Amendment, First Amendment. All right. We have a motion by Commissioner Bruni. We have a second by Commissioner Disman. Is there any discussion? Hearing and saying no, we'll move to a vote. All in favor? Aye. Any abstentions? <coughs> Anyone opposed? Thank you. We will now move on to item number eight, approval to award contract number C23049 in the amount of $717,256.13 to Validity Construction Services LLC for the rehabilitation of 29 North Fort Basswood Avenue and 2825 Civic Center Drive. Do you know what you like to present that, please? Good afternoon, Commissioners. <coughs> Dina Williams, Development and Modernization Coordinator. So, um, if the board might recall, a couple of months ago, I came and presented an item to the board, which was the receipt of $500,000 from the city of North Las Vegas to rehab two houses that had been offline for basically over a decade. Uh, we went out to bid, did a competitive bid to uh, bring on a contractor to do that work. The bid came in at $717,256.13. So the housing authority went back to the city of North Las Vegas. They were gracious enough to award us an additional $160,000 to meet the $717,000 for the bid price. And so we're going to, at this time, ask the board to approve the award of this contract for $717,256.13 and 13 cent to contractor validity who is present here at the board should you have any questions for the contractor so at this time we ask the board's approval to award contract number c23049 to validity construction for the rehabilitation of 2904 basswood avenue and 2825 civic center drive i wanted to ask nina just to add a little more um what happens after we rehab those units and how um how, how does the public benefit, particularly with the voucher program? So these two houses have been offline for over a decade. 
Um, as I briefed the board a couple of months ago when we received this award, these units were in such disrepair that it was actually discussed that we would either sell or just completely demolish each unit. But the housing authority is in the business of preservation and in the light of trying to preserve affordable housing for the valley, we went out and sought funds so that we could rehab them and keep them in our portfolio. The city of North Las Vegas was gracious enough to step up and provide those funds for us. And so what we're going to do is we're going to completely rehab those houses. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take Section 8 vouchers and overlay them on these two units so that one, the housing authority has an increase in revenue, and two, two deserving families from our valley will have a beautiful house that they can now own and will still be affordable for them. So at this point, this is basically two houses completely remodeled, zero dollars to the housing authority, and then two deserving families get to have Section 8 housing of their own, which as we all know, our list is quite extensive and they probably have been waiting for quite some time for housing. So this is what we would love to call a win-win. Thank you. Dean. And the, as I said, the contractor is present. Should you have any questions for the contractor? All right. Does that conclude your presentation? Indeed, it does. Thank you. All right. Uh, is, there, is there any commissioner room? I just have a question. So, uh, two families, but how many bedrooms in each house, roughly, are you anticipating? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have that included in my report, but I can go ahead and pull that information and have that forwarded to you. But they are both at least minimum two bedrooms. Any other questions for members of the board? Yeah. Mr. Chairman, uh, you said that the validity is here. Indeed, the contractor is here. Yeah, uh, I would just like to, to have uh, him come up and just kind of give us a, a sense of uh, what that rehabilitation is going to look like and your perspective on uh, that uh, two properties. Two prop uh, good afternoon, Commissioners. Um, the, uh, my name is Zane Burke, the uh, Majority Owner of Validity Construction Services here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, the rehabilitation of these two properties, we just got done doing four properties for the Housing Authority in February, so this is similar to that. Um, it will literally be brand new homes um, because they have these homes are sold to that tape. We're starting pretty much from the ground up, and each of them, to answer your question, are uh, three bedroom homes, three bedroom, um, two bath homes. One bath, excuse me. Are you going to be adding any new, uh, any bedrooms or all just, that's all the same? Is this, all you're doing is keeping the frame and just re-rocking, redoing the entire We're going to actually bring in um, the uh, laundry facilities because currently they're existing on the exterior of the property, which nice. is no longer have to close. So we will be adding a, um, a little bit more space and a little bit more um, usability inside both properties for each house. Great. Thank you. Thank you. All right, more housing. Uh, if there are no further questions, either in person or online, I entertain a motion. Motion to approve. I'll second. We have a motion by uh, Commissioner Churchill, second by Commissioner Bruni. Is there any other discussion? Harry saying no. We'll move to a vote. All in favor? Aye. Any abstentions? Anyone opposed? Motion is adopted. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. All right, item number six, new business. This is a uh, time period to decide to where if there are members on the board who would like to have a uh, future item discuss at a later meetings. It's a good time. Speak now or hold your peace until the next meeting. All right, so now we'll move to the second period of public comment. This uh, portion of public comment is reserved. Uh, for items that are not on the agenda, uh, we ask you to come forward, set your name, uh, residence for the record. And again, you will be limited to three minutes. Is there anyone who wishes to come forward at this time, either in person or on the phone? All right, we'll make it come up. I would like to wish everyone uh, happy, uh, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, happy Kwanzaa, uh, Feliz Navidad, and, and everything <laughs> else. So um, we hope that you enjoy the time with your family and um, uh, let's take care of ourselves. See you next year.